it alone. Open the gate up, let it get out. Don't try and pick it up like this. Don't make a YouTube video about it. There we go, little Bella. There we go. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up or the thumbs down. I was a scorpion. He's going to come for you. Full nerdy bra, 2% body fat, 2% body fat, full nerdy bra, kino body, ain't got nothing on me, Diddy set in the house, pick up your mum in my Ferrari, say good day to your sister, tell I'm gonna be late, be late, be late, be late, full nerdy bra, 2% body fat. <laughs> Full natty bra, Joe Rogan, you are a fucking idiot, mate. You're a fucking idiot. Seriously, this is not a hate video. This is a fucking rebuttal to the dumbest motherfucking... I'm reading it off the screen now. Negative health consequence of a vegan diet. The most motherfucking dumb fuck video I've ever fucking watched on fucking YouTube since 2000, 2006 when I first watched videos by Casey Neistat about bike theft. And this is the dumbest motherfucking video I've ever seen. I'm only three minutes and three seconds in and I had to click off. We got Joe Steroids fucking Rogan. This first thing he fucking says is, if you're a vegan, you won't get enough cholesterol and you can't produce enough sex steroids. How the fuck come you're on fucking steroids for the last 15 motherfucking years, Joe Rogan? You don't even fucking tell people. Your audience is so fucking dumb. You're like, oh, I've been on steroids for 15 years and I think it's pretty beneficial. And then you'll just, the audience is so dumb, you'll say, oh, if you go vegan, you won't produce enough testosterone. But you've been taking exogenous fucking testosterone for 15 fucking years. And, you, and then the rest of all, you lost all your hair, and your fucking face is red 24 fucking 7. You know what I mean? Like, how fucking dumb is that? That's like me saying, um, um, well, um, um, nothing. It's like fucking saying nothing. It's no argument at all. You're just a dumb stoner motherfucker who's so stoned and your audience is so stoned and dumbed down they can't even see your blatant contradiction. Uh, if you go vegan you won't have enough testosterone. My name's Joe Rogan, I eat lots of meat and I fucking shoot my fucking testosterone in my ass every fucking week. How much testosterone do you take, Joe? Be honest about it, man. You can see it in your physique, man. Here's for all the dumb stone viewers out there who can't tell if someone's on the gear. On a lot of gear, long term. First sign is you're swole. You look like a motherfucking swolger. Chris Hemsworth, etc. And in some people, not everyone, their face goes fucking red like a fucking Japanese pumpkin. Look at Joe Rogan's fucking face. It's compared to what it was like 20 years ago. It's like, boom, it's like a Dana White face. They're on the same shit. The fucking, the UFC is so riddled with steroids... The main commentator is a fucking steroid head himself, and it doesn't make him a bad person. But Joe, if you're gonna say that you won't get enough testosterone if you eat vegan, you can't be fucking eating meat and fucking shooting testosterone in your fucking ass every week. For 15 years. For 15 years, man. Now I can speak from personal experience, because I've used anabolics and steroids as well. If you watch some of my YouTube videos from back in 2014. The longest I've ever taken them for in one hit was five weeks microdosing, just out of curiosity. And I got, I was starting to get swollen. I was like, "Whoa, I don't want this. I'm a cyclist. I want to be lightweight, lean. What's per kilo?" And the fact that Joe Rogan would say that is just fucking hilarious. All these dumb fucks out there. So he's got this guy in there called Chris Kessner, who's a snake oil motherfucking seller. Now, no hate to Chris, 
But you're another like greasy weasel bag. You're like, um, an animal in nature, if it has the opportunity to eat more nutrients, it will do that. That is true. If I get a fucking Big Mac and give it to a horse, the horse will fucking eat the Big Mac. Is it healthy for the fucking horse? No, it's fucking not. Because a horse would eat a Big Mac, we're going to use that as a yardstick. Well, humans should eat Big Macs as well because a horse, if a horse was smarter, it would go to fucking McDonald's and order a fucking Big Mac on its fucking iPad. You're a dumb fuck. And you, you say that vegans won't get enough fat, vitamin K2, vitamin D, and you fucking sell it. you got the Paleo Cure cookbook, and you're like, hey, buy my vitamin K2, buy my vitamin D. Vegans don't get enough protein, Chris Kressler says, and he fucking sells a fucking protein powder. This is how dumb Joe Rogan's fucking audience is. Now, I've got to admit, I've listened to some of Joe Rogan's podcasts when he has Victor Conte on there. Because Victor Conte is one legit motherfucker who talks the truth about doping in sport. Joe Rogan is a motherfucking hypocrite. He's, a, he's not even fucking funny, man. He's dumb as fuck. Doesn't make him a bad person, but Joe Rogan, man, just get off the bongs for a month, get some fucking clarity in your head. And you, you take so much fucking supplements. You take creatine, you take protein powder, you take testosterone, you take everything, man. And you say that vegans, are, oh, I couldn't go vegan because I wouldn't get enough testosterone, I wouldn't get enough protein, I wouldn't get enough creatine, I wouldn't get enough K2. But you fucking eat meat and you take testosterone, K1, K2, K fucking zillion, vitamin D, B12, you take all this shit. And you say, oh, I can't go vegan because I wouldn't get enough. Like, how fucking dumb is that? How contradictory is that? Contradictory? Is that a fucking word? There's a wasp at the window. How much of a contradiction do you want to live? How much of a contradiction walking do you want to personify? How much of a walking contradiction do you want to personify? There is not one single deficiency that only vegans can get. If there is Joe Rogan, I'll give you $100,000 and you can blow it on your fucking strippers this weekend and snort the cocaine off their fucking backs and just pin your ass with more testosterone. 100 grand. Name me one vegan deficiency. Maybe you and Chris Kesner can share the 100 grand and get some Vegas hookers. Nothing wrong with being a hooker either. But these guys, mate, if you really know what they did behind the scenes, you probably lose a lot of respect for them. So they, they continue their lies because the truth is just too hard for most of the stoned Joe Rogan audience to swallow. Lies are necessary when the truth is too hard to believe for your audience. The speaker will tell the lies if the truth is too hard for the audience to digest. And Joe Rogan's podcast is just full of bullshit. He even says, well, there was some guy on the internet referring to me. Oh, he said we should be vegan because we wouldn't walk up to a school and eat it. And that's just crazy. Why is that fucking crazy? Joe Rogan, you say we should eat meat. I want to fucking see you pin down a fucking squirrel like a fucking red-tailed hawk or a coyote or a fucking snake, a rattlesnake. Pin it fucking down and eat it and go, this is good shit. Guts, shit, blood, feces, scrotes, nuts and everything. Fair eyeballs, just chomp it down and go, this is really legit. You couldn't fucking do it. You get your meat, you cook it up, you add your salt and spices and special sauce and go, oh, this meat's pretty tasty. No, it's fucking not. It's the sauce and condiments that's fucking tasty. If you were in to eat meat, you'd eat it like a fucking, like a dog would, man. Like, just nasty shit. But you wouldn't do it because you're not a real meat eater. None of us are. Eating meat's learned behavior. We don't question society. We just go through it. Oh, society says do drugs. Okay, I'll do drugs. Oh, society says I've got to be a swell action, man. I'm going to do steroids. And a lot of people say I'm a fucking fake natty. Oh, society says I should eat meat. Oh, God. The TV says that. Okay, I should spray pesticides. I'll do that. You know what I mean? I'm going to work at a job I hate to buy shit. I don't need to impress people I don't fucking like. Okay, I'll do that. No one questions what's encouraged. Joe Rogan's audience certainly doesn't. They're just stoners sitting around going, yeah, like Joe Rogan's a hipster. Like, yeah, he's pretty smart. Wow. Then they're, they're so stoned, they can't even see the contradiction. Joe Rogan, you personify the word contradiction. You're a fucking joke. Where the fuck are your blood tests? What the fuck do you even actually eat? Do us a 30-day food vlog. I will challenge you to a fitness test, an all-round fitness test, cardio strength. You can take as much fucking steroids as you want. I will kick your ass, man. In total fitness, all-round fitness, I will kick your ass. Chris Kesner, you guys can team up. I will smoke both of you guys. You say low carbs good? Let's put a fucking 500 grand on the fucking table. Walk your fucking talk. Shut the fuck up otherwise. Go carb the fuck up too. Put down the fucking bongs and steroids, you fucking hypocrites.